In any case, cluster, it's highly recommended to enable the Azure Active Directory integration to authenticate and authorize our users, because by default, a user will be able to create and delete any Kubernetes object uh, in a cluster that doesn't use this feature. So in Azure Active Directory, we'll go to authenticate those users because they will be defined in Azure ID uh, either as a user or as part of uh, an Active Directory group. And then my AKS cluster will go to define the authorization for those users using the role and role binding objects. We have another interesting option where we can manage that AKS airbag using the Azure airbag. So we would have some predefined Azure airbag roles and we can create our own custom roles. And then Azure AKS will go to translate those Azure airbag roles into Kubernetes airbag roles through the role and role bindings.